The problem with robots, at least according to these developers, too stiff and not as personable as they could be. That's where creations like Easter Robot fit in. It's designed to be as anatomically correct as possible. Not to look like humans, but to help them behave like we do. Uh, we're trying to copy the internal mechanisms of the human body rather than just the external form, which is what pretty much all other robots do. And the reason for that is that we want robots not just to look like us, but to move like us, uh, to interact with us in a safe way. iCub and Neo are other examples of bots that take design cues from humans. By mimicking human characteristics and the look of small children, technicians say they'll be more easily accepted. The idea is uh, to, ma to make interaction possible. You have to make the shape of the robot uh, nice, so that you want to interact with. If you have some things, you know, a square, in metal, you don't want to get an interaction. So we make a robot that people, oh, he's cute, I would like to talk to him. Getting robots to behave like us isn't all about looks and personality. They'll also need to behave with the same physical characteristics the humans have. So things like the ability to track objects will further that goal. As for dancing like Michael Jackson, well, it probably shouldn't hurt. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.